it's your girl Fantasia and I'm back with another video. Hold on. I feel like you can see the thing. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm back with another video. Um, it's been a while since I posted, you guys. And it's only because I don't be known to post like you guys aren't giving me no type of content. But stay tuned because I am gonna have a video on the hair affinity pills I'm taking my one month update once the one month is over and and I'm going to show my birthday hair and how I install that and color it so stay tuned for that make sure you follow me on my social medias Instagram Fantasia1215 which is the one I mostly go on and my snapchat Fantasia1215 in today's video I'm going to attempt to do a wash and go and I don't know how it's going to turn out because I tried to do a wash and go before and it was a complete fail. And this whole month of November, I'm actually doing the whole wearing my natural hair out for the whole month since I never wear my natural hair out. Because it's too much of a process and your girl's lazy. That's why I be wearing wigs all the time. So, guys, so I'm back. So I co wash my hair and I just bought this today the, um, the Jane Carter Solution Curls to Go. And let me tell you this right here this is the. I got iPhone, so this one show. This is the curl drench. Let me tell you this right here. Have my hair feeling like Rico Suave, like that's how smooth it felt. And then I deep conditioned my hair with this, the Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask. So now we about to do this wash and go. I think I want to do a side part. So try part. It. Yeah, I'm about to part it into a side part. I need a mirror for this. Hold on. Yeah, Should I do the side part? I don't know if I should do a side part. be back you guys okay please dear god let me say a prayer right now dear god please let this wash and go come out good because you know how i be with my hair and i don't want it to come out ugly and then i'll be stressed it like i always do in jesus name i pray amen, amen. um oh for my wash and go I'm going to be using the leave-in conditioner from Myel Organics, the pomegranate and honey line. And then I'm going to put this in my hair, olive oil. And I was going to use this, the Eco Styler, the flaxseed one for my wash and go. But then I saw this when I bought the other thing, the coil, Coiling All Curls Elongating Gel. Elongates curls controls for its reducing shrinkage. So I don't need the shrinkage. So this is why I bought this. So hopefully this works because if not, I'm about to be upset because I pay ten ninety nine for this. And I don't got the time for it to not work. I should probably get a clamp. Hold on, I'll be back again. I don't know where my clamps are, but I gotta use these. So first I'm gonna part my hair. I'm gonna start from the bottom. So it says to, when you do this for your hair to be drenched in water, so I'm about to drench my hair in water. 
this is a water bottle I have, but I want to get those ones where it's like, if you guys know what I'm talking about, where you like mist. But I don't know where to get that from. But yeah, I'm gonna do spray this first. Make sure it's soaking wet. I'm gonna get back to you guys when it when I get to the front because I feel like you guys can't even see. Ooh. Yeah, I thought I saw something. I feel like you guys can't even see the back. So I'm gonna get back to you guys when I get to the front. I'm gonna show you guys how I do this last little section on my hair. This is why I don't like doing my hair. Like, first of all, look how short this looks. I got the clown do going on right now. And like, I don't know. I'm not feeling this, but it's whatever now. I spent forever doing this. My hands hurt and I'm tired. So this is what oh and I did a little what do you call those? Finger coil at the end. First, I wet my hair with a lot of water. And then my finger tingle with my finger. Oh, duh, my little finger tingle. But yeah, you see, guys, see how sleepy I am? Yeah, so I finger tingle, blah, blah. Then Add in the leave-in conditioner. And I also finger the tangle. How I do this. And then add some olive oil. it one more time just make it a little dry and then last but not least add the elongating yep oh I put too much in this one hello can you rake it I hope you guys didn't see that I hold this off. I think I put too much in my hair throughout my whole head, to be honest. So I hope it doesn't dry white. Because if it does, then that's a whole other problem right there. See, I think I put way too much in this one. But I start in the back. Just take it like this. And that's basically all I do throughout my whole head. Ugh. Alright guys, so it's the next day. Let me tell you, this is why I don't like doing my hair and doing wash goes. Because right, I woke up this morning. You know how I did the whole side part and everything? It did not look right. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe my hair needs to be longer for me to actually like wash and goes. But it did not look right. So, you already know what I did. Tied a shoelace around it. And then finessed it. Because that's what I do every time with my hair. Is tie it up with a shoelace. And it looks decent. But, um. This is what it looks like. So you guys can see. I gotta hide the shoelace though. I need my pick. But, I don't know if you guys can see. Next time, I know to definitely not put that much um gel in my hair because it kind of left my hair kind of white the other day but other than that like this is my everyday style like 
I put my hair up, tie it up with a shoelace, push it back a little bit, and then that's it. But I really do need to be able to just wear my hair down without anything being tied up. But I'm not comfortable with that yet. And it's weird, because let me know if you guys have the same problem. Right, all my hair grows in the front section. It grows a lot. And then right here in the back, it's like no hair. So I don't understand why it's like that. Like, this part of my hair grows the longest compared to the rest of my hair. And the top of my hair has the loosest texture compared to the back. But, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my social, other social media. And just let me know how you guys feel about my videos. And give me feedback because I really do want to see it and what you guys think. So, bye.